Have you ever noticed you can drive four hours in the summer sun and not get a sunburn? Even though there's not obvious damage, you could still be doing some harm. The things that we worry about as dermatologists are ultraviolet rays, and there's ultraviolet A and ultraviolet B. And ultraviolet B, you can think of B as for burning, it doesn't th go through glass. But ultraviolet A does, and so you still may get tan, skin darkening, and most importantly, that's the rays that go very, very deep and can cause skin cancer. And as they say, the proof is in the pudding. Here in North America, doctors find more skin cancers on the left side of the body. We'll see it on the face, we see it on the hands and the arms, we also see lots of sun damage on the neck, but then conversely, if patients have come from, say, Australia or the UK, then they'll tend to have more damage on the right. But Dr. Carroll warns that a sunburn is your skin's alone and in the car, that alarm is silenced by the glass. I think there is a lot of danger in the fact that you're getting this on exposure, but you're not getting that warning sign as the burn. Here's how you should protect yourself every time you drive. So you can get some filtering on the, the glass in your car, and that can be helpful. You just want to use sunscreen as well. So I always put sunscreen on my hands, my arms, face, neck, chest, but don't keep it in your car because if it gets hot, and then it, it's not gonna work as well. If you're doing a long road trip, say five hours, then really you should be reapplying your sunscreen two different times because you wanna apply it every two hours. And then I think what we really wanna do this summer is make the sun glove trendy. So let's bring back the sun glove as something you just keep in your car, you pop it on, it's the easiest way to protect your hands and your arms.